humid day. Third day in a row, 90 degree plus. Truthfully, it's not all that uncommon for us to get 90 degrees three days in a row in September. Last time we did it was a couple of years ago, so it, it, it happens. And with that, you know, the heat index values have been pushing 100 again today. We're going to see a gradual tapering off of the heat, but it's going to take a while. That's a Kentucky One Health weather bug camera located at St. Joseph Hospital. And as we're looking out for you this afternoon, what we are looking at is just a couple little decorator clouds and that's it. Showers have been pretty few and far between. We've watched a couple of them try and pop along the I-64 corridor. We've got a few more down as we head toward you know, the Hal Rogers Parkway, Southern Clay County over into Leslie County. These are splash and dash and that's about it. But the big story, of course, is Gordon. So this is the radar out of Mobile, Alabama. You got Panama City and Pensacola here. You head over toward Gulfport, Mississippi. New Orleans is back there. You can see a nice circulation with the storm. Pretty much a beeline to the northwest at this point. So a landfall later on tonight somewhere. Alabama, Mississippi, Gulf Coast. It looks like we've got hurricane warnings running from the Alabama, Florida border, then across the entire Gulf Coast of Alabama and Mississippi. It still ends up being east of New Orleans, so it just clips a little bit of Louisiana there. It's a 70 mile per hour tropical storm. It has another couple of hours where it may strengthen. It's running out of real estate. It's what's happening. So we're looking at Northwest movement at 15. It's got a pretty good clip to it. So we're talking the difference. Is it a 70 mile per hour tropical storm or a 75 mile per hour hurricane in the real world? Not much of a difference between the two. The storm will be coming in somewhere near the Mississippi Gulf Coast or perhaps as far to the west as extreme eastern Louisiana. 65 mile per hour winds at 1 a.m. in the morning as it works its way then up to the Mississippi Valley. Diminishing quickly with the winds, but the rain will be continuing. So by Thursday, still a remnant low sitting out there over Arkansas. The summer muggies may not give up all that easily. More storms later this week on the Max Track. Some of those related to Gordon. Gordon tonight. And it's a free for all in the tropics over the next few days, or next couple of weeks, actually. So we have hit meteorological fall. That occurred over the weekend. Saturday was the beginning thereof. What happens during this season, which ends November the 30th? The average high September 1st is 84. By the end of this month, that's already down to 73. And by November 30th, the average high is just 49. So season does change quickly. The average first frost, which we define as 36 degrees, that happens on October 16th. And daylight hours, they go away quickly. 13 hours back on Saturday. By the end of the fall season, we're looking at just under 10 hours of daylight. Temperatures are on a decline. That's going to be because of clouds and rain as we head toward Friday and Saturday. It's 92 at the Bluegrass Airport. It's hot. Heat index comes in at 97. You look around. Temperatures running in the low 90s for most. Dew point values hovering right around 70. Makes that heat index mid 90s for many of us this afternoon. So there's your high pressure. It's the same one that's going to be around here for a while. Here comes Gordon. It works its way to the Mississippi Valley. Cold front sitting up here likely never crosses the area. So with all that tonight, you're looking at a mainly clear one. Warm summer night. We're in the low 70s tomorrow. Partly sunny, muggy, late day thunderstorm possibility. High temperatures will be around 90. Still flirting with 90 on Thursday, upper 80s there with a, a little bit more of a thunderstorm chance. Best chances look to be Friday and again on Sunday. All in all, it does turn into a wetter and somewhat cooler pattern headed into the weekend. Ooh, but it is hot, hot, hot right now. Goodness. <laughs> it's the end of summer. <laughs> I know. Thanks, Bill. Uh, Bill, thank you.